Last week, we heard how the women went to visit the tomb where Jesus had been buried, only to find that it was empty. Jesus was gone. He was, in fact, alive. They saw him and they spoke to him. We've just heard that Jesus then appeared to some of his other closest friends, the disciples. He wasn't dead anymore. He is alive. That is the most exciting news ever. I wonder what it tells us about who Jesus was and is. I wonder who you believe Jesus was and is. I've got some optical illusion pictures for us to look at this morning. And when you see each picture, I want you to think, what do I see here? Let's have the first one. As you look at this picture, I wonder what you see. If you're with somebody else um, watching this today, Maybe you ask them, what do they see? Is it the same as you? Can you see more than one thing in this picture? Well, let's have a look. I can see a duck. You've got a beak. And if you look at it the other way around, you can also turn the beak into ears. So it could be a rabbit. I wonder which two of those you saw first. Now let's go on to our second picture. Now what do you see here? Have a close look. What did you see first? Are you all seeing the same thing? Or are you actually seeing different things? There's definitely more than one thing in this picture that you could see. Let's have a look. So, we have got a woman's face. You can make out two eyes and her lips and her long black hair on one side. And then you can also see a man playing a saxophone. He's got a rather large nose and he plays the saxophone in front of him and you can make out his body and his feet. I wonder if you saw both of those pictures within the same picture. Let's have our final picture. What do you see here? What's the first thing you see? Is it the same thing as everybody else is seeing first? If you look closely, can you see something else? Well, here there is a vase down the middle and there are two faces looking at one another. Wonder which of those two you spotted first. Well, they are great optical illusions, aren't they? Isn't it fascinating that we're all looking at the same pictures, yet we don't necessarily see the same thing? I think that's really, really interesting. Throughout Jesus's ministry, he told us and he showed us who he was. And that is recorded in the Bible. He performed miracles and he taught the people about himself and God. Some people recognised him as the Son of God, God in human form, the Christ, the Chosen One. But isn't it interesting that not everybody recognised him as that? Everybody 
was looking at the same picture, reading the same account, but not all seeing the same thing. Jesus was crucified, put to death on the cross because the Jews didn't recognise who he was. They didn't want to believe that this was the Son of God, the Christ, the one they had been waiting for. But through Jesus' death and resurrection, him coming back to life, he ultimately revealed who he was and who he is. We know from the Gospel of Mark that one of the Roman officials who saw Jesus' death on the cross, exclaimed at that moment he died. This man truly was the son of God. At that moment, he recognised Jesus. At that moment, he saw him for who he was. as Jesus appeared to many after he came back from the dead. I wonder who recognised him and who believed in him. For Thomas, he had to see Jesus for himself. He wouldn't believe because the others told him. He needed to see that Jesus was alive. He wanted to touch him to know that this was real. For many of us, we will have encountered Jesus and we will go on to encounter Jesus in many different ways. But most of us won't ever see him as a human being. And that means that to believe in him, we have to have faith. Faith that he is alive. The question we each have to ask ourselves is who do you see when you look at Jesus? Who do you see when you read the Bible? When you pray? Who do you recognise Jesus to be? Do you recognise him as the Son of God? God in human form, the Christ, the one that the Jews were expecting, the chosen one, the Messiah. And do you believe in him? At the end of our Bible reading today, it said that by believing in him, you may have life in his name. And that is what we celebrate at Easter. We celebrate that new life and that living hope that we have in Jesus' resurrection, his coming back to life. So I wonder what you see when you look at this picture. <laughs>